Hey there viewers, welcome back to Ray of All Trades. Today on the bench we've got the massive Echo PB755T backpack blower. Um, it actually starts and runs and does what it's supposed to do. Uh, the owner just wanted a, a tune-up kit put in it. New fuel lines, fuel filter, um, spark plug, and uh, carburetor. Um, he said that it's kind of temperamental. We're just going to give it a once over, do, go ahead and do the uh, kit on it. And I do want to take the carburetor apart and see what it looks like on the inside. I do have another one to put in though, so I ordered a, a tune-up kit. The tune-up kit does not come with the air filter for this one. I saved a lot of money by not buying the air kit style that fits it. Uh, other than that, pretty good, pretty good deal on the kit. Let's take it apart, figure out what's going on, and swap some pieces out. It's really what we're doing today. Ordered a new uh, kit with it. I was saying the air filter that came with it is not for that style. Everything else was identical. Um, saved a lot of money. And uh, we'll put that aside. This air filter was actually in pretty good shape. Let's get after it. Loosen up the air cleaner box. Let's take that. Basically new filter. I mean it barely has any any uh, dust, dust in it at all So Allen wrenches and it appears to be a We're gonna try a four millimeter. I don't know if it's gonna fit Yep, four millimeter Got neighbors outside doing yard work Pull off the air assembly. The choke, all it does is flip a lever up and down. Right. Leave the two uh, two bolts in it so that I don't lose them. That's pretty much it. Verify that the carburetor is the same. So the adjustment screws look slightly uh, slightly different for the idle air. That appears to be the same. O-ring, that's in the same place, that's in the same place. So uh, idle speed adjustment, this is the uh, throttle cable holder. Uh, this is your throttle itself, opens and closes this valve inside. So primer bulbs in the same place, and fuel lines are in the same place. Um, that is our breather. Um, looks like that breather fits inside a holder. We're going to have to modify that. Let's pull this grommet out of here. Be gentle on these grommets. Um, not all aftermarket kits seal up very well. You may have to reuse it. Um, in true echo fashion, the filter fits out the hole. Our throttle. This green line here is the return line. Any fuel that's inside the carburetor that needs to go back to the tank comes down this line and out this uh, uh, small line here. It's just the return line to the tank. This white part is the other end of this breather line. So air is allowed to come in that breather line and replenish or fill that void inside the gas tank. So any fuel that leaves has to be replaced by air. And then finally, this last line is the one that has the fuel filter on the end of it. And that's the one that goes over to this side of the carburetor. So we're going to trim these two. Actually, I'm not going to trim them just yet. I need to figure out this distance here. So if that's the grommet, let's pull this line up long enough to reach where the last one did. Just pulling it up making it about that length, all right? Um, 
beyond there. We can cut it a little bit. It's not that critical. Give yourself some room. Um, so, we're at about that distance. And then the return line, let's make sure we have enough on that return line as well. The return line appears to be about the same length. Maybe a little bit longer. All right, so my return line goes to that one, which is the shorter of the two. That's my return line. That's the shorter of the two. The longer one goes down to the fuel line. That's on this side. Okay. So the longer line is going to have the filter on the end of it. All right, so let's put this carburetor out of the way. The longest line here gets a filter. It's almost like the people that built this box of parts didn't talk to the people who are building the fuel lines. Man, that's tight. It's going to go on just like that. So let's drop the filter down into the tank. I'm going to have to massage this grommet into that holder. So I put it down um, back here on the back side. I put it at an angle that way. And I try to focus my efforts on pushing this side of the grommet into that hole. I'm going to use a, a dull flathead screwdriver. So I don't puncture anything. I'm just going to stuff it down into that space. And if all goes as planned, well, what do you know? It happens to be the right distance. Okay. Color me surprised. Um, let's go ahead and get this um, throttle hooked on so it drops in there. So I'll rotate this um, uh, throttle connection, Pull, open the throttle with your finger. Rotate it into place, drop the cable in, and it should fall into a groove on there. If it doesn't fall into a groove, you've got it back, you've got this turned backwards. So once that's in place, um, before I tighten this up, I'm going to check the throttle, make sure it looks like it's supposed to. Okay, yep, that works. 10 millimeter nut. I'm backing up, um, backing up this with one hand, holding the carburetor, and just tightening that nut. Okay. And actually, I did a little bit too much of an angle. So how about like that? What I discovered when I tried to put it up here was that the cable was hitting the body. Let's check the gasket. Make sure it lines up, and make sure that these impulse holes line up. At the bottom, that looks good. I'm going to put that gasket on the carburetor and it better line up with that impulse hole because it came to the kit. Even though the fuel guy didn't talk to the parts guy. Um, that does match up. Let's go ahead and get this um, breather tied back in. And it looks to. Let's try to take this apart and see how this goes together. All right. It looks like that hose just comes apart. I'm trying to get this this part off. So let's push that through. We're gonna have to take this one off. 
stuff that in there like that and put that back on. Now it should stay inside that holder right there. All right. So this mounts on there like that. Um, carburetor O-ring lines up on that side. Slide those bolts through. Take your gasket, make sure it's on the right direction so that the impulse line lines up down here on the bottom. Start your bolts. Tighten them evenly. Verify choke works. Verify throttle works. Change out the spark plug. Check gap on this. The old reading is reading about 27. I think it's supposed to be 25. This new one is is reading 20. Let's bring it to 25. Crushing tight. Just kidding. Seems like everybody wants to over tighten spark plugs. That's funny, I wonder how long that's been loose. I didn't even notice it, so I was trying to put it back together. Take this opportunity to make sure that there's no debris inside this pleated filter. Back on. That's the fuel that came out of that thing. Pretty rough looking. 